The always cool, calm, supremely confident Asselino Freitas facing his second left-hander. Freitas forces the fight from the start. The quick southpaw, a ton, number one WBO contender. He's a kind of a cute stylist, awkward, tricky fighter. Keeps a fast pace and throws a lot of punches. There's the bell round one scheduled for 12. Freitas wearing the colors of Brazil. The green, gold, and blue, and then Daniel Atta from Nigeria wearing the black with the white trim. Atta, the South Pole. No punches thrown as of yet. Both fighters showing maybe too much respect for one another. Major feeling out situation early on, but here goes Freitas. It didn't take him that long, just a, about 15 seconds. Worked a couple of nice body shots, went over the top of the right hand, which didn't land, but the body shots were pretty good. Freitas really established himself as a fine overall all-around boxer in his last two fights, aside from just being a power puncher. I completely agree with you, especially in the Casemiro fight where he put on strength and power early to gain a little bit of lead, then box late to keep his lead, won by the slightest of margins, but showed he can box and punch well-rounded fight. Four and over versus southpaws, 12 of his 29 knockouts in the first, and he averages just over three rounds per bout. He's got a wicked right hand and a big left hook to the body. And he can throw the uppercut. He has looked almost frightening at times. But we've seen more jabs of late, more boxing, more movement. Not as hurried. If he had any problem, it's with his, his weight, maintaining the weight. Although lately under Oscar Suarez and a nutritionist, no problem. Oscar Suarez, I know Oscar Suarez over 20 years. I know Oscar Suarez so long, I weighed less than Freitas. <laughs> That's that, frightening. That is long. That is a long time. Two fights now under the very affable Oscar Suarez, who's been working more on Freitas' speed. Well, he clearly has the power part down. Closing in on one minute remaining in the first. A lot of those punches were blocked with a good right hand counter by Atta. Atta right now seems content to make Freitas move in, make him make the first commitment and count. Freitas said after tonight he wants one more fight this year that begin 2003 getting ready for Floyd Mayweather Jr. Smacking punches upstairs to the ears by Freitas. First the right, then the left, the straight right hand to the nose by Freitas. Nice straight right hand lead there. It looked like it really bothered Atta a little too much. Didn't seem like a big right hand, but just seemed like it bothered Atta. Atta leading with his head there. Freitas comes busting through. Hold it, hold it, stop. Stop. Oscar Suarez and Oscar Freitas very cognizant of the fact that Atta does come in with his head. Well, that was a good right Watch uppercut by Freitas on the inside with Atta digging his head to the neck of Freitas. Atta does come down with his head straight down, and I'll tell you, it's also dangerous. You can hit on top of that, it can hurt. Our translator. For Freitas is Anabal Miramantes. We just broke the eyes. Now we need to be a lot quicker. Let, let's move to the side. Don't get too confident. One, two, three is perfect. We need to try to go straight with a straight right hand. Don't trust him when he's coming straight. He's, trying, he's coming with a head first. Tudo bem? Tudo bem. É excelente. Vamos marcar chão, ele para tua mão direita. Não. Ok? Ele tá esperando para os direitos. Já sabe. Ata, when he comes in, he leans down with his head and his shoulder. There you see him with his head and his shoulder just ducking down and sort of charging. That's dangerous for headbutts, dangerous for cuts, and sometimes can be, you know, deemed illegal when you leave your head that late. Well, we'll see how referee Bobby Ferreira handles it from this point on, if it becomes a factor. 12 of Freitas' 29 knockouts of the, in the uh, first, 19 within two rounds. Now you see that counter right hook that Atta's trying to, trying to use, step back, let, Atta, let uh, Freitas come in and whack him with the right hook and maybe the left hand, but not being very effective as of yet. Atta doesn't have much punching power. He does have a questionable chin, and he has a tendency to drop his hand. So I'm sure Freitas on the uh, lookout for that. 
Again, Freitas complaining of the head following the good flurry. Straight right hand by Freitas, blocked by the gloves of Ata. And now Ata comes forward, but no okay. damage. Okay, stop. Freitas is connecting with that short uppercut on the inside. Well, once again, Ata keeps leaning in with his head, not his hands in front of it, and that uppercut's going to be dangerous. In case you're wondering, Freitas, even okay, with the hold, great record, hold, has hold, been on the canvas up. a couple of times, both in the first round, but of course came back to win. Atta's been down a, a few times, coming back to win. That's a second warning. You hit on a break. Second time. Second warning, says Bobby Ferreira to Freitas for hitting on the break. One more, he can lose a point. Midway through the second. Body shots it upstairs. Beautiful fusillade of punches by Freitas. Nice body shots, man. He didn't let the head go. He worked that body and worked upstairs to the head, making sure if those hands come down, he gets a clean shot at the jaw. A lot of movement by Freitas. Good footwork. Held back on the uppercut. Well, he just hold rears it, back wrestle. and I got fires. It. Come on. You know, hold sometimes wrestle. strength and power are very difficult to gauge when you're watching tapes until you get in there. And I think I thought might really have a good idea of exactly what he's in for. I'm sure he's feeling the power of Freitas. It's not only the power, Bobby, but the accuracy of his punches. And he's very strong. His body's imposing. Steps forward, bends. It's strong. I got right hand to the body. That was a gorgeous show. Around. A cute right hook, a nice right hook counter, something he needs to do. With about 40 seconds on the clock in round two, Atta landed, but Freitas seems undaunted by it. Hold, 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 Either that or he's a good on, actor. Come on, come on. That's the lead. 20 seconds left in the second. Big right hand offered up by Atta that certainly got the attention of the champion. Look at these shots. By Freitas digging to the bottom. A touch game. Stop. Stop. Come on, give me that water. Give me that water. Daniel, Daniel, come on. Come on, Daniel. You gotta use a jab, Daniel. Come on now. Get off the damn rope, okay? Breathe in, baby. You're waiting too much. Come on, Daniel. Suck it up. And then you got to good jab, Dan. You got a good jab. You got to use it, okay? And then deep. Excellent. Thank you. Listen to him. Okay. Take a couple looks at that right hand. He likes to throw it to the body, but he also likes to throw it up top. That one just grazed, and there was a nice, sharp right hook counter by the challenger. He is tricky. Well, you know what it is? His speed and timing. As you watch, you see? Opening his stance wide open, did Freitas, and he was just swinging, not looking. And I thought you stepped in quick, quick, short, and sharp. Okay, okay, and deep dive and move side to side. All right, make a miss. Look at his left side. Look at his left side. Mark Johnson and company of that Atta corner want to see more boxing from Atta. They want to see more jabbing and more movement as we swing it around three. And he wants to get him, he wants him to get off the ropes and step to the side and counter with that right hook. Atta from Cross River State, Nigeria, making his home these days in Washington, D.C., 20 0 1. One no contest with eight knockouts. This is round three scheduled for 12 for the WBA and WBO Junior Lightweight Championship. So part of the problem Atta is having right now is that Freitas works when he wants to work and then rests, and Atta doesn't press him. Especially big punches use a lot of energy to throw those power shots. When they stop punching, you have to have something in their face. Atta wearing the black trim with white doesn't seem at all in awe of the two belt champion, Oscillino Freitas, wearing the green, blue, and gold. And he certainly hasn't had the, the quality of opposition that Freitas has had. Freitas, my goodness, coming off a fight with one of the best men in the world, left-handers, Joel Casamayor. Watch the feet, watch the feet. And that was no easy feat in beating the slick left-hander. That's the second time that uh, the challenger stepped on champion's foot. He pointed it out to him both times. They touched gloves. Right, hold, hold. Sort of interesting. No wrestle. Well, Come if you're afraid is against a southpaw, you want to keep your lead foot outside the lead foot of the left-hander. And of course, you want to move to your left if you're the conventional right-handed fighter. 
to try to stay away from the southpaw's power. Good snapping left jab there by Freitas. And then again to the body. Right hand over the top by top, followed by a straight left. And Freitas complaining that they clashed heads. They did bang heads, but that was unintentional. And then, to his credit, then Lata hit him. <laughs> Which would be the right thing to do. Well, as long as the referee isn't in there to break it up, you just continue to fight. Protect yourself at all times, that's the phrase. It sounds like a cliche, but it really works. What I'd like to see Freitas do, where I, as I see it, in the middle here, Atta's keeping his body open a little bit, but he's widening his, his elbows out. I think some right uppercuts up the middle would be would behoove the champion. Maybe he'd get the job done a little better. I don't think this is any kind of a surprise for Freitas. They knew that they had a tough cookie in front of them in Atta. I mean, they're so confident in victory, but they knew that Atta's not just going to lay down. He may not be as experienced as Freitas, but he does have some good experience. And he just got rocked with a right hand at Atta. And now Freitas trying to pounce on him with Atta. Gets the right. Here comes Atta with a right hook at the bell. Atta has a lot of resolve. One of the things I always talk about, look at the feet, look at, look at the feet right here. He's gonna step right on his foot. Boom, right there. See his, see his foot, steps on it, and you know what that does is it gives him no balance here. And a lot of times when a guy gets hit like that, he can go down because his foot's anchored and the other one's trying to bend out. Watch the heads clash on the inside. Here comes right there, charging head down right into the mouth of the champion. Atta hit him squarely in the lips. The end of the round, Freitas on charge again, gets hit with a right hook on the top of the temple, and the round ended, but one of the, he's not throwing enough, though. He's just not throwing. Atta's most dangerous punch may be with his head. Round four scheduled for 12. Atta has unleashed a couple of real strong right hands in this fight. The most recent one, just before the bell, went round three. Crowd here at the Dodge Theater in Phoenix, roughly 2,500. Appreciative of the action and the pace of the first three plus rounds. The right hand by Freitas sends the challenger back. That time is pretty awkward. He slips and slides, and being a south boy, he has different angles. Hard to hit him very cleanly, and his defense is pretty good. coming in with a very quiet confidence. He's a very spiritual, religious young man. Does a lot of Bible studying. Goes to prayer meetings. Don't forget, you don't just have two fighters fighting for a title. You have two fighters that want to represent a country well. And you know, a lot of pride on the line here. And the prophet, Daniel Atta, very aware of his country's boxing history. Three world champions from Nigeria. Hogan oh Kid Bassey, Dick Tiger, Herbie Hahn, and Atta would dearly love to be the fourth, but it's going to be, as mentioned earlier, a monumental upset should he pull it off. Three world champions from Brazil. You're looking at one of them in the green. Atta's not known for his power. He's not going to get Freitas out here with one punch or one combination, and he's just not working. He's not out working Freitas at all. Eder Joffre, Miguel de Oliveira are the two previous world champions from Brazil. A charging Oscillator Freitas had a top turned around and he hit up. If you notice that an earlier Oscillator Freitas might already be a little more frustrated throwing and wasting punches. Here you see someone who's resolved the box and do what he has to do. Okay. Good by, uh, so he slipped, uh, he slipped on the ring apron. As Freitas tried to help him up. Well, his leg just went flying off the uh, apron of the ring. What I was talking about was Fred is becoming a much more well-rounded fighter, learning the box. He has to go to distance, go to distance, not be frustrated, and continue with a good plan. Fred is ripping to the body. That came Atta with a right hand, but missed. 
that seems to be the only answer Ata has is a big right hand counter when Asuna drops his left hand, but not much else. Come on. An awkward fight with a lot of head uh, clashing with the southpaw Ata. A ripping body shot with the right hand by Freitas. He's like a windmill sometimes. Freitas with some beautiful countering. That time at the bell, Atta missed with the right. And Freitas hears it from the crowd and his wife, Eliana. Annabelle Miramontes, our translator. That was beautiful. You need to go first. You need to go first. Now you need to put the straight right hand. Okay, lo pobrecito. Estamos excelente. Tú viste cuando te cuando vos te se cierra y pones la presión. We're doing great. You see when you. Se trata de virarse. So vamos a hacerlo de vez en cuando. Pas entrar con recta primero, directa y gancho. Ciego. Okay. Watch Daniel Atas foot as he backs up to the ropes. Just comes right out from under and just slides right practically out of the ring. We've got it from overhead. Watch his left foot going back. It just hits the, it hits the corner of the canvas and slides right out. And then to Freitas's credit, he helped him back in. That was nice of him. Round five, scheduled for 12 for the WBA and WBO. 135 championships. Freitas was the WBO champ before beating Joel Casamayor back in January in Las Vegas before a disappointing crowd. And out of the WBA crowds. Now he's defending both titles against Daniel Atta. Atta in the black trunks. Good powering right hand across the face by Freitas. And before that, there was a nice right up cut in there again. He maybe maybe hurt me. I don't know. Or maybe somebody in his corner saw the same thing I did. Freitas going to the body. So when you go to the body like that, Steve White, on both sides, every time three or four punches, almost su subconsciously the fighter thinks the next one's going to be wide. That's what places his hands. You come up the middle, you catch him by surprise. Body shots are so effective, particularly when they're so hard. As you take a look at press row scoring, all for Freitas by the same exact scores. Scott Bordow is from the Arizona Tribune. Norm Kronheim from the Arizona Republic. Andy Rivera, BoxingTalk.com. Pretty easy to score this one so far. Freitas is just one every round. I'm talking not out working, not out landing, not really getting the job done. And if the fight should go deep, those body shots accumulate. Stiff left jab. That is not a probing jab, a range fighting jab. That is a weapon by Freitas. Those are hurtful punches. Freitas certainly of the mind, go to the body and the head will fall. Should the fight go on? Even if the head doesn't fall, it also helps take away the legs of a fighter that has to move like this. And if he can't move and he can't punch with a guy like Freitas, he's got a problem. Freitas stalking the challenger now, and Atta seems to have run out of some gas. His pace has slowed. And let's see if Freitas jumps on him and takes advantage. I think suddenly Atta is tired. I don't think it's so much he's tired as his body shots are starting to weaken him, Steve. Yep. Well, that's what we were talking about up to this point. Those body punches really taking it out of Atta. And it's only round five. Atta being worn down systematically here, methodically. Look at these body whacks by Freitas. And trust me, some of those body shots hurt more than a clean shot to the jaw. But Atta Gainley firing back but missing most of the time. Let's go to Jim Gray. All right, we are behind the scenes here. As you can see, Mrs. Freitas 
she cannot bear to watch this fight right now. She's very nervous about what is going on. So she is getting a report from people who are in Ocelino's corner. They come out and tell her she is just way too nervous to watch this fight. She got up and walked out. If we turn around, you can see the proximity of where she is now back in the back corridor here. Hello, everyone. You look out right here to the right. There's the ring. She'll get a round by round report. And unfortunately, she doesn't speak English, so she can't understand you, Steve. Out to you. Well, that might be a break for her, but that's a, a dramatic uh, a shot. As you see the Let's tremendous go. support that Freitas brings with him here from Brazil. But a very dramatic shot backstage. That's not the first time we've seen that with Eliana. She does find it difficult to watch her husband uh, in fights. She'll be there before the fight and after the fight, but during the fight, it's a different story. And it's understandable. She gets very emotional. They've been married about a year, a wedding that was televised in Brazil to show you the popularity of Ocelino Freitas. At least she did try it one time to sit ringside and watch it, but she just couldn't stand it. You know, I can understand that. I fought for years. I watched my brothers fight. It was like having several heart attacks per day. I couldn't do it. It is really tough for the family members. Round six, scheduled for 12 for the WBA and WBO 130-pound championships. Another wicked right-hand body shot by Freitas. Freitas right missing with the straight right hand, a countering right hook there by Ata, but not doing much damage. See, Freitas, too, is leaning out with his head like that and making some of those punches look harder than they are. Once the lights go out in Phoenix, and thank goodness they stopped punching. That could have really been dangerous, particularly with the power of Freitas. We have had a power failure here at the Dodge Theater. I feel, in like, I'm in, I feel like I'm in Ocean's Eleven. Yeah, that's right. Hold on to your wallet. Somebody's getting robbed. The night the lights went out in Phoenix, and uh, it was a short delay. The lights go right back on. They touch gloves, and we continue. There's an oddity. That usually just happens in the movies. A new boxing first. Trying to think if I've ever seen I think it's happened once before. Once again, Ata's left leg goes off the ring apron. That's the second time in two rounds. Must be awfully slippery there, but it only seems to happen to Ata, not Freitas. Well, he's got a wide stance, and sometimes he just backs up too quickly all the way through the ropes. Doesn't really have a good understanding of where his feet are. Then again, also, he's the one who's going backwards for the most part, and not Freitas. So he would be the one going out of the ring. We approach the final minute of round six. Ata not really throwing any punches at all here, offering up almost zero in the way of offense. We had a 20 second untimely timeout there for the uh, power outage. So it wasn't that bad. Fortunately, nobody was in the middle of a punch when the lights went out. That could have been damaging. Again, hard body shots by Freitas. He's just teeing off with that right hand. Now upstairs. And you know what? To his credit, Freitas does what he wants when he wants, and I thought one can punch back. Here comes Otto with a, a little bit of a uh, flurry, but Freitas able to wiggle out of that one. Final seconds, round six. Hold it, hold it, Asolino. Let him go. Come on. Fred is having some fun. With the right hand that got in before the bell by Freitas. So round six is in the books. What happened with the power outage? Well, let's hope Jim Jim Gray can shed some light. Bobby Chez's scorecard is a shutout. Oh, it couldn't be anything but. Uh, Ata has not really offered up much offense in the past few rounds. More and more defense. I think the body shots are really being the difference. So Freitas uh, winning every round from this vantage point, 10-9. Round seven scheduled for 12. The WBA and WBO, 130-pound titles at stake. Asselino Popo Freitas in the green. Daniel Ata, the left-hander from Nigeria in the black. A 
Tom Mishing with the right, but connecting with the left hand. And look out, Bobby Ferreira never stopped the action, so Freitas kept fighting, unless he said something. I didn't see the referee say anything. I didn't either. But I thought turned away, and I, you can't do that. Well, you shouldn't do that. No, you shouldn't do that because you're going to get tagged. It is 31 and 0 with 29 knockouts. He won his first 29 by knockout. I taught 20 0 and 1, one no contest, just eight knockouts. So Freitas is certainly not concerned with Atta's power. Now he's shown he's not a big puncher, especially not one punch, but he needs to throw combinations and he's not really doing it. This is Freitas' eighth defense of the WBO title, his first defense of the WBA. Technicians for putting on the backup power so quickly when we had that uh, power failure. Good you job, guys. Fred is trying to time Atta coming and making miss with an overhand left and counter with the right hand. Both of them missing. Them. It is possible, as Jim uh, Gray pointed out, that the heat had some impact on the lights. It's about 102 outside, but building officials claim it's only 70 degrees inside. It does feel a lot warmer than that. And I'll say this, the heat is really on, Daniel Atta. You also have those television lights up above the ring, which adds to it. All right, let's break. Come on. There's See Atta just loading up with that right hand. Blood uh, around the uh, nose of Asselino Freitas on the right side of his face. I'm not sure where it's coming from. But Atta with some right hands there. He caught, you see, he caught Fritz loading up one of those right hands. He walked into a right hook counter. A tough feeling of power surge himself. And a body shot by Asselino Freitas with a right hand. Again, taking some steam out of the challenger. Hey, you know what? You can knock him out, man. You can knock him out. Just relax. 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 Hold this here. Go to the table. We got to take it. Not one guy caught. One guy caught. You, everybody watching. You know what we say when you first got with me? The head of the table. This is our opportunity. You were prophesized to get hit the table. Get the head of the table. You got to win the championship. Then you got to knock him out the winner. I feel. Chris, get over here. Strong, ain't you? Ain't you strong? You strong? You strong, strong baby? Easy, Jack. Easy. 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 The only answer I thought seems to have is right hook counter punches coming in. Then over here, there's one right hook. It lands flush. Doesn't seem to do a lot of damage. Then later, again, counter right hook. There it is. Right on the jaw. But again, he's not a big puncher. It's a quick shot. Snaps Freitas' head a little bit. But this is not a devastating blow, and it's one at a time. Little abrasion uh, under the right eye of Asselino Freitas. Uh, nothing uh, to uh, be concerned about. It's under the eye. It has been a dominating performance throughout by the champion, Asselino Freitas. As we enter round eight, Ata has basically been a one handed fighter. He has barely thrown his left. It's been his right hand that has done any damage against Freitas. It might, be a, a it might just be a coincidence, but the right hand to the body by Freitas is underneath the left hand of Atta, and he's keeping it there to block the body shot. The blood from uh, Freitas' face, a little blood from the left nostril now. Not sure if it's the result of a punch or the several headbutts and shoulders by Atta. Now Freitas wipes off some of the blood from his nose, but he goes right back to it. He has been the aggressor, effective aggressor throughout. Ring generalship, landing the cleaner punches, he's done it all. Crisp, accurate shots to the body and head by Freitas. See, I thought just sitting here, blocking, 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 eating a few, blocking, blocking, not offering up much. No way to win a fight. There has to be a sense of urgency in this corner. This corner said you have to knock him out. Atta's first world title shot. It's a tough one. Nasty 
the midway point round eight. Scheduled for 12. Freitas again coming forward, dictating the tempo. Here's that stiff left jab and a good straight left hand there by Atal. Yeah, there's one of uh, a real left hands. Yeah, we haven't seen that in a long time. I think it surprised Freitas, but Freitas marching forward again. Just taking a tough from one side of the ring to the other. And flinging rights and lefts in the direction of the challenger, and most of them getting through. Back comes out top briefly, and then a wild swing, and Freitas, to his credit, could have continued punching there, but he backed off. I have to be honest with you, I would have probably tried to reach around and hit him in the face, because that part isn't illegal, but the referee would probably have had a problem. I'll tell you what, he is a sportsman. Asselino Freitas. He could have really jumped all over up top there. And Todd nails Freitas with an overhand uh, right or a right hook in this case for the southpaw. All right, I got it. I got it. Stop. As we head for the bell, round eight. Well, the Showtime boxing schedule, a busy one all this month of August. Let's break it down for you. Saturday, August 10th, 5 p.m. Eastern Pacific. Showbox, the new generation, returns with a 12-round junior featherweight bout. Fabio Oliva versus Omar Adorno. Saturday, August 17th, 10 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. Showtime Championship Boxing heads to the U.K. as Joe Calzaghe defends his WBO super middleweight crown against Miguel Jimenez. That's from Cardiff, Wales. And Saturday, August 24th, 5 p.m. Eastern and Pacific, Showbox, the new generation, brings you a 10-round welterweight bout as Kermit Cintron faces Ian McKillop. Then later that same night at 10 p.m. Eastern and Pacific, we come to you from San Juan, Puerto Rico, for the WBA featherweight title as Derek Gaynor battles Daniel Seda. Action-packed month of boxing right here on Showtime. Nice crowd on hand here in the Valley of the Sun, the Dodge Theater, Phoenix, Arizona, as we head into round nine of this WBA slash WBO 130-pound championship. Asselino Freitas in the green with gold and blue versus the challenger, left-hander Daniel Atan, the black with white trim. It has been all Asselino right, Freitas. Hold, hold, I got it, I got it. He has Come won on. every round. No knockdowns. Point in time when I thought it looks so hold defensive. It, hold it, hold it. it looks like he's just trying to Come survive, on. not necessarily boxing and counter punching, but just trying to survive and not get knocked out. Sometimes there are fighters that just won't get knocked out. Could be a combination of the body punches by Oslino Freitas and the heat starting to uh, wear Ata down, which is so expected. Freitas' last two fights have gone the distance. His first 29 by knockout, another check of press row, all Freitas. Let him go, let him go, Daniel. But somebody has given uh, the challenger some rounds. Wow, I'm in shock. Storm uh, Froheim from the Arizona Republic and uh, Scott Bordo from the Arizona Tribune. One to Ata, one even. And uh, Froheim has given two to Ata. Interesting. I, I'm sure I can't justify either of those scorecards, but Andy Rivera from BoxingTalk.com has given every round but one to Freitas one even. Atta's in trouble now. He got hurt to the body in an uppercut. He got really hurt to the body, Steve. And Freitas pouring it on. He's got Atta pinned up against the side ropes. Up by Freitas, under a minute left in nine. And Atta in a defensive posture right now, just looking to hang on. Every once in a while, he'll right, throw hold, something, hold, hold it. Come but on. not often enough. Come Appears on. to be a little possible blood on the right eye of Atta. To add to his woes. And a left uppercut on the chin by Freitas. The blood now on the face of Freitas. All right, hold it. I got it. But it's I got from it. the nose of Asselino. Coming out of his nostril. 
Good left hand there by uh, Ta. Not much steam behind it, but it connected. Right, it connected flush, but there's no real power there. And too little, too late. It didn't really affect Freitas. Final seconds. Freitas just takes a step back now, and it's target practice for Asselino. And he just pushes a top across the ring. At the bell. You gotta do something to try to win though, man, okay? I ain't thought, trying to win, you just in there. I thought, you know what, I know, I know one second, let's just go to him. The guy, you're already into the fight, you can't feel his power in. Get on the arm, Okay, let's work, arm. let's work more now, okay? Shut up. Give me one good body shot, one good body shot, one good body shot, right over here, okay? Let's okay. come in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, baby, you'll give it to him? Okay, but well, listen to me now. We're well, gonna concentrate. The hook needs to come really fast after the right hand. We need to try to hit it in the, in the play that he's not watching you. That's what I want. Listen. We're winning. He's, he's losing every round. Round 10. I'll tell you one thing, even though Freitas is dominating, Atash showing he's just one rugged guy. He's tough and he's awkward and he's cagey. Southpaw style certainly is somewhat of an advantage, but apparently not enough against a power puncher and a skilled technician like Freitas. A little backhand move there by Freitas. Hold it, hold it, Looking hold it. To set up on, his right. Oscar Suarez was telling Freitas in Spanish that they're looking to time his right hand, trying to hit him with something he's not expecting, which probably not bad advice. Now Freitas is an excellent counter puncher. He doesn't have a bad lead right, too. We'll see if Ata unleashes the right. And Freitas is able to counter. There was a lead right that just missed by Freitas. A grazing blow past the right jaw of Ata. And a right uppercut to the midsection. A low blow by Freitas. And he'll get a bit of a, a caution from the referee, Bobby Ferrara. Time out. He's time gonna out. give Ata a little time to recover. One point. And he's taking a point away from Freitas. One point. One point. Too many times. That's three times. Well, he, he tells Freitas that's three times he did that. Stay right there. So he's deducting a point for Freitas. It's uh, academic and consequential. I guess the third time you hit him low? I don't remember it, to be honest with you. I don't remember two horns for I remember I remember one hitting on the break. But now Altar's going to milk this. I think what he's doing is adding together other infractions, but I don't think it was low blows. I yeah, think there's a variety of infractions that he may be referring to. Ready to continue? Right. That makes some sense. Okay. Are you okay? You have up to five minutes sure? to recover if you are uh -huh. the victim. And uh, you ready? Go next. If you can't recover in five minutes, you automatically lose. It's about 50 seconds thus far. Time in. So just 53 seconds of recovery time. Uh, needed by Daniel Atar. Round 10, scheduled for 12. A whacking right hook there to the head by Atar. And once in a while, he squeezes one of those through. And then Freitas answers with combinations and hard ones. I think Atar was milking that foul for as much time as he could get. And now, Atar dancing around. But again, his toes. again, Steve, he's not doing anything. He's not doing anything. He's going to make him win the fight. And Freitas all over a tongue. The awkward Atah hitting the Freitas behind the head. And he didn't get a rabbit punch, and he didn't get a warning. Right. But he's got other problems to deal with here. Like a swarming, smothering champion, Oslin Freitas. No let up from the champion. He's in great position, obviously. Up and coming, up and get me. 
Good elusive defense as well by Freitas. Yeah, he's showing a lot of good head movement, not keeping his head stationary, so the punches even when they get catching, they're grazing. But uh, he's learned how to box. He's coming to his own. The confidence factor's high. He really wants to be known as the people's champion. He wants to try to get the same recognition here in the States that he gets in Brazil, but it's going to be tough. Hey, 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 give me that in his head, baby. Come on. You just want to fight, man. You don't want to win. Huh? We just want to come out and not get knocked out. You gotta go get him. You gotta go get him, man. You gotta go get him, man. You got but two rounds. You gotta go get him, man. We can't win it on the decision, man. You gotta take chances now. You gotta go get him. They ain't gonna give you nothing. Hey, look at the that referee and dog you all night, man. Yeah. You gotta go get him, man. This tie is yours, baby. Come on, what are you waiting for? We'll take a look at that punch that went south of the border. Yeah, that was pretty clean, pretty low. Slapping shot didn't look like much, and I thought it go down right away. It took a couple of minutes to thought about it, then went down, took a knee. I really don't think that blow had any significant impact in the region that it hit. Seconds out, let's go. Ashley Freitas has won almost every round. No knockdowns thus far. Freitas penalized one point at the 125 mark of round 10 by the ref. You heard Atas Corner saying, What are you just don't want to get knocked out? You just want to survive? You don't want to win. You're not trying to win. That's exactly what I've been saying for the past five rounds. It is round 11. For the WBA, WBO, 130 pound titles. Held by Ocelino Freitas. In the green with gold and blue. Freitas, relentless. Non stop with his punching. And all action type. And we see his entire repertoire. Hold, Rights, hold. lefts, uppercuts, Go ahead. jabs. Go ahead. Fight. You notice Fred is still going to the body, not forgetting the body. And I think that's what neutralized Daniel Atta so quickly. He got hurt to the body, got weak to the body, hurt his legs, and he didn't want to punch. He was afraid to get hit to the stomach. Well, it's interesting. We may see Ocelino Fred is his third consecutive uh, distance fight after 29 straight knockouts. Fights or still wins. There, there's the important factor. And this, the easiest of the three. I think that's pretty safe to say. Very safe to say. Left hand, a grazing blow there by the prophet Daniel Atai. But even at that, he hit Freitas a clean, straight left hand. Try and get some momentum. Follow up with a right hook and another left hand. See what's going on. Maybe you get a shot. Midway 11. Atai has a little gas, but not much. He's almost running on empty. Looks like watch he's trying. Head. Daniel, watch that head. Although they were complaining watch in the that corner head, that he's just in there to survive and not to win. That's his own corner. But I think he's just uh, fatigued. But left side of Freitas' face. But again, inconsequential. So you notice that every time Freitas comes in, a top puts his head straight down. And it, it's very awkward for, the, for Freitas to even aim for a place because the head's there. And he's walking in with his head face first many times himself as he opens up the punch. A notorious headbutting situation. A systematic surgical like performance here by the champion Freitas, who now dances away from Atta, eluding a right hand. And the crowd showing its displeasure. They want more action here, they want Freitas to attack. Freitas is staying away. He's playing keep away right now. Every once in a while, throws the jab. This is a round, though, all due fairness, that our top might well have won. Freitas is waiting for his openings there, and he knows he's way ahead, so there's no reason to risk anything. And he doesn't care what the crowd thinks stop, stop. at this point. Very beautiful. I like it. I like it. You're showing you are a master. Excellent. Excellent. A lot of fur. Now, what I want, Popo, when you have a step, he's out of balance. Beautiful. Beautiful. Excellent. Last round. Yes, but watch the head. I know. I Guys, more tired than you are. Go at him. Throw everything you got. You got nothing to lose. 
He's a champion. You want to get the title, right? Let's do it, man. Last round. Last round. Shake hands in a second. Daniel, watch that head. You got the head too low when you're coming in. Last minute. Three minutes. Freitas acknowledging the crowd on the left of your screen on top from the right. They bang gloves to begin the 12th and final round. Bartos well, Corner said, let it all hang out. You have nothing to lose. A dominating performance by Arcelino Freitas. I really have a sneaking suspicion. He'll try a little bit, but not let it all hang out. He wants to stay on his feet and finish this on his feet. There's a certain amount of honor in that, and I do understand it. He has been down a couple of times, a few times in his career, coming back to win all of those fights. Freitas uh, continues to uh, take the cautious route here in the latter stages of the fight. Well, as I was analyzing some of the tapes about Ty, I thought that this might be a difficult fight for not to win necessarily, but to be real impressive and knock out the top of Freitas, especially if he got past the first two or three rounds, and it turns out I was correct. Have you ever been incorrect? The last time I was wrong was when I thought I was wrong, and I was still right. <laughs> <laughs> And you hear again the crowd reaction to the tact being taken by the champion. But it's smart. He's, he's, he's so far ahead. He can't lose the fight except by knockout. This kid doesn't have the type of power to knock him out. It would be foolish for him to fight just for no reason. Why put himself in jeopardy when he knows he's extremely ahead on the scorecard? Now he presses a forward. But missing wildly. Crowd of about 2,500 on hand. Freitas with about six, seven, eight shots in a row unanswered. Finally, Alta hands one back to him. Freitas scoring well with the jab as well. He comes in with his head. Freitas giving Alta a little taste of his own medicine there for a moment. That punch was blocked by Freitas. I'm impressed with Freitas' defense right, stop, here as well as his come offense. On, on, He's moving nicely. And right, right, again, there's a guy right now that can't hurt him. He's shown that he has a pretty good chin. He has excellent power. He's way ahead. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Smart I got it. but boring on, right now in this, la in this last round. Selena, let him go. 40 more seconds. Come on. Atta's corner waving him on feverishly. They are right, frenetic. I got it. I got it. Come on. Under 30 on. seconds in the 12th and final round for two world titles. And it's Ata going backwards, which is difficult to understand. Freitas hearing the mixed reaction from the crowd. And then he ends with some action. An easy victory for Osolito Freitas. Won well, just about every round. And now he exults. And you hear the, the boos from many of the members of this crowd here in the Dodge Theater. Well, Steve, it's not the kind of fight uh, you can get too excited about. A lot of holding. A lot of running, a lot of moving, especially toward the very end. Once he's way ahead, I'll, I'll sling over the last two rounds aside, you know. As long as I don't get knocked out, I can't lose. All right, it's safe, but it's a little bit boring. Yep, and now he is draped in the Brazilian flag. Hugs all around. That is Oscar Suarez with the team nutritionist. And talking to his family, and there comes uh, Eliana back into the arena very emotional as you can see being escorted in after being unable to watch the actual fight itself she was there for the pre-fight introductions and now she'll be there for the end but she just can't watch her husband uh, being hit you know, I wa he wasn't hit that much my ex-wife uh, when we were married actually couldn't watch any of my fights up until the very end of our marriage and she finally did watch one or two was that in, in the house or <laughs> in the ring <laughs> it was in the living room <laughs> So Arcelino Freitas gets together now with Daniel Atta in peace for the first time. 
this evening. The engaging Cleveland Burgess, the uh, the manager there in the middle of uh, Daniel Atzau, also in the corner, working with Mark Johnson. Johnson on the left with the uh, the hat backwards. Freitas uh, trying to improve his English. He speaks uh, obviously Portuguese, being from Brazil. Really good guy. Very. Uh, Rumor is that he also going. speaks Spanish. Yeah, very good. And uh, trying to learn English as he goes along. And now he finally greets his wife, and the the fans uh, go wild in the crowd. Wow, look at that emotion there. Smack, pow, right in the kisser. I like it. You'd rather get those yes. shots in the kisser than the other ones. Trust you me. read my mind. So an elated Asselino Freitas goes the distance for the third straight time. And he's uh, back on that cell phone, no doubt, talking to Dad and maybe other members of his family back in Brazil. Just like we saw in the dressing room before the fight. You know what he's saying in Portuguese? Can you hear me now? I guess he can now. Can you hear me now? Inside the ropes with Bobby Chez. All night long, Asino Frey able to work the body, work his way in. Big body shots, a lot of right hands. Left hands as well, but the right hand was much more effective, I think. Uppercut, back to the body, back to the body. Up top, back to the body. He was able to mix it up at will, throwing those body shots, landing, I think, severely weakening the challenger, Daniel Atta. And we're just about set for the official decision, and let's set it up to our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. All three judges, Ro Kais, Guy Jutras, and Chris Wilson scored about exactly the same, 117 to 110. All three in favor of the winner, the undefeated WBO and WBA 130-pound champion of the world, Asselino Popo. Freitas. A convincing unanimous decision for Asselino Freitas now 32 and 0.